today's video is going to be showing you how to remove your main caps from your LS motor. Now I done did several videos on the LS disassembly. You can check them out in my LS engines playlist on my channel. Or I'll try to link a couple in the description below. So now to remove this, you will need three different size sockets. These down here is a 10 millimeter. Up here is a 15. And over here, the next one to it is a 13. So you need those three sockets to even do this. Now I like going ahead and removing all the side bolts here. And I'm just breaking them loose and then I will go back over them with a impact and zip them out. You know, loosen them. On these side bolts here, do not forget, you do got five. One, two, three, four, five on each side, so ten total. I'm leaking oil. Once you get that, be sure to remove your sensor here. It's a 10 millimeter also. And you can tell the boat is a bit different. They look almost identical, but they are different, so don't get them mixed up. Your sensor will pull straight out. It should have an O-ring on it. Sometimes you have to use something to pry in it. And you see the sensor popped right out. I'm going to put my boat with my sensor. That way I won't get it mixed up. I know where it goes. So let's go ahead and loosen all these. Right here up. I'm going to do all the 15s first. Which will be these outside bolts. Now GM says you can reuse the wide bolts up to three times. And I personally think you can reuse the main bolts too, even though they are torque to yield. I know a lot of people will use these too, but do your research and uh, do whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to reuse these, most likely. Socket in a bad place. I found one that didn't hit a journal. Be careful when working around your journals. Don't want to nick them. You do nick them, it ain't the end of the world. All these are loose now. They spin out by hand. You can see here. How about that? And that. Okay. Then we will loosen the middle. Which is a 13. Now you could use an impact on this if you wanted to to loosen these. My air hole sprung a leak in one of my other videos. So uh, my impact is down at the moment. Gotta so get a kit to fix that air line. Once you get it always loosened comes the next step. And if you're gonna reuse your bearings or you're checking your bearings, you wanna keep up with everything good. So pay attention. These bolts here is going to come out. And I am going to put these bolts in the exact same spot. Once I get everything done. Now what I am doing, you can't see it on camera, but on the ground here, I'm going to line my bolts up exactly where they go in. From the fifth cap to this cap. In this cap, that way I can put them right back in the same hole, and I know where they go. Maybe easy to cut, keep up with. But you do gotta lay them out and not get them mixed up. Sometimes a cardboard box, draw you some squares on them, and write down which side they go on. You know, it it's simple. You know. Now you want to get you a screwdriver or something rubber to get in this, and you want to turn your journals so they be safe and out of the way each time you pop one of these. I'm using two crowbar ends here from a tire iron. Now you can wrap 
black tape on this if you're worried about it hitting something or damaging it but you shouldn't be because you shouldn't be at work with your motor in the first place that being said just insert them here and uh, apply upward gently now so make sure always is numbered this is one two three four five mine is already numbered here in the corner but if not mark yours all the little uh use kind of a little shape here goes towards back of the engine on one two three and four so you can't get them mixed up and all the numbers are all on one side and these little dots go on one side now the main back one is reversed and it comes towards front of the motor that is something to always remember they all don't face this way they are one different this is a bearing got a little dirt in it probably what's been setting but it it looks like it'll clean up nice i don't see no reason to worry about it so i'm gonna put this in a ziplock baggie and uh, keep up with it so nothing gets damaged because I got another bell in here I want to keep up with as well. I demonstrate one more time on this one. And as I said before, make sure your crank journal, if you're getting close to it, just turn it over and get it out of the way. And eventually it will pop up and you can check that down as well or replace it whatever you want to do another great looking bearing but like it has got a nick right here a little duck got in it i can feel it on my glove too but looks usable i set that to the side that is number two it is marked now if you were using your bearings you don't want them to come off with the crank and get them mixed up and dropping everywhere. So gently pick up your crank and make sure there are no bearings on it. If you must, get somebody to help you do this. And that's what I'm going to do. Bossy, can you volunteer to help me for a second? We're going to gently pick straight up on this crank, one on each end, and watch for bearings. This bearing stayed, 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 yours stayed. Yeah, straight up with it, boss. Okay. The next step, get you some Ziploc baggies and get you some markers. This is a Sharpie. Don't I used it so much it pretty much wore off, but get you five bags. And now we're going to knock these bounds out. And we're going to label them. We're going to label one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to note the position of the tabs. Our tabs is only one spot it can go. So that's something I always look, look for. So, boss, you can number us, put a big ass one on that. And you just press down on the side here. Well, you can't see this, and it's kind of off camera. We do it first. This is number one. I am putting it in a Ziploc baggie. And I'm going to zip tie it to the other main cap. Because you don't want to throw the main cap in here and beat your bearing up. That ain't smart if you were using these. Now, if you ain't and you're replacing them, you can just see what size they are and just buy your new bearings. But I'm keeping these. They come right out, as you can see. It's factory GM bearing. Looks really good. Is that number two? Number two is in the zip up baggie mark two we will do the same for the other ones now number three is your trust bound and it might be a little bit tougher to move but it still should move sometimes you have to pick up on it where it got these sides and you note the tab position here goes right here you can't get it mixed up it looks really good so we're gonna put that up as well Now sometimes these will be stuck in there pretty good and you need to take something soft and just tap on them a little. I would not do that. 
if I can't. But sometimes you have to. That's the last bearing. Looks very usable. Probably got another 100,000 miles or more on it. Depending if you keep your oil changed. If you look, my cam bounds are pretty well killed out, guys. Especially number three and number two. Most of that's just oil, though. But that ain't oil on that one and that one. And the front one ain't right here. Has a little oil stains, but, you know, it's more up towards the bottom here. Two-piece factory bearings. And this is how I laid my bolts out. Now I'm just going to take them and put them back into the holes they come out of. It's very simple. Just take one like this. Screw it in the side it came out of. And you can keep up with your bolts like this as you clean your block up yourself. Go to the machine shop. Just keep them labeled and put up. But this one ain't going to the machine shop. This one is going through uh, being built on my porch machine shop. Once your crank is removed, and if you did it the same way I did, this is what your engine will look like. The bolts is sitting in it. Now, the reason I tell you to keep up with your bolts, I don't know if you can tell this, but you can mark, mark it. But you see this bolt right here? It's a tad bit bigger than any other bolt in this engine. This one right here, the threads are. So I don't know if GM made a boo-boo when they put this together. And they got these uh, different size bolts with just a little bit thicker thread. Or if that was a misprint bolt or something and they used it. So that's a that's a good reason to keep up with your bolts, guys. Is uh, that reason right there. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like. Leave a comment. I enjoy hearing from everyone. And get subscribed because I got more content on building this engine. Tons more content on my channel too. Just not engine stuff check my channel out might be something you enjoy and i try to upload a daily video so even if you don't get a notification check back should be something new on thank you for watching i'll see you next time